I'd be interested to double click on this. What will models be good at in three months? Because I think that's something that people always say to think about when building AI products, but nobody knows how to think about it because it's everyone's just like, it's generically getting better all the time. We're getting AGI soon, so don't bother. You know, like, <laughs> how do you calibrate three months of progress? I think if you look back historically, we tend to ship models every couple of months or so. So three months is just like an arbitrary number right. that I picked. I think the direction that we want our models to go in is being able to accomplish more and more complex tasks with as much autonomy as possible. And so this includes things like making sure that the models are able to explore and find the right information that they need to accomplish a task, making sure that models are thorough in accomplishing every aspect of a task, making sure the models can like compose different tools together effectively. Yeah, these are the directions we care about. Yeah, I guess it, coming back to code, this kind of approach affected the way that we built code also, because we know that if we want some product that has like very broad product market fit today, we would build, you know, a cursor or a winter or something like this. Like these are awesome products that so many people use every day. I use them. Um, that's not the product that we want to build. We want to build something that's kind of much earlier on that curve and something that will maybe be a big product, you know, a year from now or, you know, however much time from now as the model improves. And that's why code runs in a terminal. It's a lot more bare bones. You have raw access to the model because we didn't spend time building all this kind of nice UI and scaffolding on top of it. 